Aye. Maybe. Maybe not. Aye. It turns out that I do. Don't laugh. But I quite like the loot. I wouldn't mind having a fiddle with it myself, actually. And no doubt you will bring it about, as you always do, eh? Everything all right? <laughs> no, not at all. Don't laugh, but I wrote a poem for you. As you wish. Love is the reason for all that I know. An embrace of sunlight, melting the coldest of snow. The kiss of rain upon summer's thirsting flowers. The sole and only reason to give my soul its powers. Your touch is as gentle as the moonlight glow. Without you in my life, I would have nowhere to go. My fate would fall into the darkness beyond. No reason, no assurance could ever be found. My heart was broken. My life was desolate. Until you came along, my virtue soulmate. All that I am, I give to you. All that I can be is because of you. You look weary. My gorgeous wife. I love you, plain and simple. Darling, I'll give you more than that. Oh. You were uh, having fun there? Danger. Here we go. Never to come. Do your work. You, are you go to hell. I had the memory. Stay with me and never leave, for I cannot bear another day of my life to go by that has not you in it. I know you're strong, but these, these risks that you take, have you ever thought about it what it would be like for me if something happened to you? I know you can take care of yourself. But you don't always have to. You have me. My love. Come here. Don't you worry about me. I'm fine. I want to know that you're mine. There's no one else in the world for me. And the thought of someone or something trying to steal you from me. I love you. Oh, I want to taste those lips all over again. Can I get you anything, love? 
I really want to kiss you right now. You've got that fire under control, right? Huh? Focus on your... I will stay. Good day, friend. What can I do well? for you? If there is trouble, come get me. It's nice to see a friendly face. Already, I can sense the rot grow within. How are you feeling, my love? Ah. I'm feeling well. How about you? I know I can be a bit dark and brooding at times, but my intentions are always honourable. Fair enough. I'm great. How are you? What? Nothing. Aye. Guess I owe you that. Aye. And sorry I have been. I'm doing alright, I promise you. You have a lot ahead of you. What part has you worried? You are a dragon magnet, love, and you are sure to attract all kinds of trouble. Still, I wouldn't change any of it. I'm grateful for the life we have together. Come on, hon. Let's do it. I'm happy that we're lovers. Stay with me and never leave, for I cannot bear another day of my life to go by that has not you in it. I know you're strong, but these, these risks that you take, have you ever thought about it, what it would be like for me if something happened to you? I know you can take care of yourself. But you don't always have to. You have me. My love. Don't you worry about me. I'm fine. I want to know that you're mine. There's no one else in the world for me. And the thought of someone or something trying to steal you from me. I love you. Oh, I want to taste those lips all over again. Can I get you anything, love? I really want to kiss you right now. How are you feeling, my love? <laughs> Aye, as you wish. Ah, why do you insist on me reading this smut to you? I know why, you love the sound of my voice, don't you? <laughs> my goodness, that is quite a loaf, but however shall it fit in my oven? Oh, what the fuck is this crap? Alright, moving on. Crantius Coltor replies. The loaf isn't ready for baking, my sweet. It has yet to rise. Well, that's what he gets for skipping the foreplay. If only we could hurry that along, how would I accomplish such a task? Oh, my foolish little Argonian maid. You must use your hands. You wish me to knead the loaf? Here? Of course. But what if the mistress catches me? Your loaf was meant to satisfy her appetite. Do not fret, my delicate flower. I'll satisfy the mistress's cravings later. Oh, what a scoundrel. Yeah, I almost like this guy. What's that look for? Oh, sorry, Jorgen. 
Very well, but I'm afraid my oven isn't hot enough. It could take hours. Aye, if he's got no experience, it bloody well will. Plenty of time, my sweet, plenty of time. Ah, oh, what the... Oh, some of the pages are stuck together. Where did you find this bloody thing? Oh, oh. I think this book's been used for something other than reading. I need to wash my hands. Quick. So, if a dragon farts, I hurt myself once while chopping wood. It was a stupid accident. Get it? <laughs> Forget it. Never touch a mannequin's boobs. Why do you ask? Well, it would give you splinters, wouldn't it? <laughs> Get it? Wouldn't it? So, if a dragon farts, does it come out as fire? From that end as well. What kind of cheese you got there? I have a great joke about cheddar. Nah, it's too cheesy. Looks like you need a hug and a kiss. Come here. This one has some good training tips for combat. Looks like a good read. Here, fair trip. I've been meaning to read this. Thank you. Here. I've been meaning to read this. Thank you. Here. I've got something for you too. I really want to kiss you right now. I'm in no mood for this shit to do. It's a bit sexy that, isn't it? It's a bit sexy that, isn't it? You use this to improve your one-handed skill. I've been meaning to read this. Thank you. Here, I've got something for you too. Ah, you found a copy of it. You know, I could try my hand at learning some of this. Dragon talk. Can't be too complicated. And I'm starting to think it'd be pretty useful around these parts. Uh, thanks. Why do you have so many of these? Why would I... Never mind. Bah! I know better tricks than that. Here, let me show you some moves. 
You and me both. Well, I'm sure it's a compelling read with an intense plot and a deep insight into the human condition. You should leave those bloody books alone. What the fuck did you give me that for? I really want to kiss you right now.